The population of white rhinos worldwide has struggled because people poach them for their horn. Nine rhinos live at the North Carolina Zoo, and recently one of them lost their horn. In today's Zoo File, Shannon Smith tells us what happened and how the zoo is keeping everyone safe. Out of the nine rhinos at the North Carolina Zoo, Abby's the biggest by far, weighing in at a whopping 5,660 pounds. And even without her horn, you're like, okay, who's the biggest one out there? So in addition to her size, she stands out now because she has no horn. This spring, zookeepers say Abby damaged her 22-inch long horn. And we noticed that she had a ring of blood around the base of her horn. Um, of course, we have no idea what happened. It was first thing in the morning. The vet staff examined her and found no serious internal damage, so they wanted to wait a few days to see if the horn would heal. Instead, Abby decided to take it off herself. She just literally just shook her head and it just boop, and just popped right off her face. Um, the horn itself, it's made of keratin. It's the same stuff that makes your hair and fingernail. So the horn itself can come off without any issue. Zookeepers say the area healed quickly with a new layer of keratin growing over that spot in a matter of days. Meanwhile, zoo staff immediately moved to incinerate the horn. And it's super valuable on the black market. Um, and we don't want to encourage that because that is part of why rhinos are so endangered is that they get poached for that horn. In some cultures, um, it's thought to be like the miracle drug, like it can cure cancer. It can't. It's keratin. If it could cure cancer, you could eat your hair. Abby's horn will eventually grow back about two inches a year. In the meantime, zookeepers say she's using that size to keep the smaller rhinos in line. Abby. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. Well, you can see the rhinos up close at the Zufari Adventure at the zoo. Buses take guests onto the rhino habitat Thursdays through Sundays. Tickets are $25 per person.